Well, hello out there in the internet world. Just about to cook some lovely stir fry. Some Cajun stuff going on there. Mm. It's going down in the in the stealth kitchen. This is the life. You heard it right. Fingers on the trigger. Here I am, in the doghouse. Doghouse studio. So today, I am gonna show you my guitar. And give you a little insight into what I use. It's all very interesting stuff. I think some of you might appreciate it. Let's wander over here to the couch. And there we've got my acoustic. Now this is an Epiphone jumbo acoustic. It's got two pickups in it, which you can blend together, which is really nice. It's got some nice little pattern on the pick guard, a uh, big moustache type bridge. Um, Elvis Presley liked it, apparently. Well, I don't know if Elvis Presley actually liked it at all, really, but I don't even know if he's, uh, I don't think he's ever been here. Anyway, I use this one for my acoustic gigs. This is my main guitar. Um, it's a jumbo body. Um, I stick a bung in it so it doesn't sound too big, uh, but it feels big, which I like. I like something big in my hands. Next to it is my slide guitar, three strings, tuned to an open chord, and you slide a slidey thing up and down it to make a slidey sound. Got one pickup in it, mostly made out of stickers. There you go. Over here to the rack, I've got Fender Strat. Big one, sort of medium sized one, little one, another big one, another strat, stuff like that. First up, bender strat. There we go. Three pickups, single coil, whammy bar, um, lightly road worn, which I think means it's been dropped a couple of times on the road. Oh, this is a big one. That's because. It's a bass. Four strings for that bassy sound. Big fat strings, look at him. Couple of pickups, knobs, new. Yeah. Uh, don't play this very much because, um, well, it's a, it's a bass, isn't it? In addition, my Yamaha 335. Um, pickups are bigger. It's like four single coils, which make two humbuckers, if that makes sense. It's got four knobs. Not quite sure what they do, but I'll just put them all on 10, because, you know, why not? Um, yeah, it's got five strings because I broke one. It's also a hollow body, but it's an electric guitar that you put for an electric guitar amp, but it's got a hollow body. So it's like a semi-electric guitar and semi-acoustic guitar, but not an acoustic guitar. Hmm. One is a travel acoustic, which uh, I don't travel around with at all, but I do like to uh, sit and play it because uh, it makes me feel like a giant. This one's very interesting. This is a Fender Telecaster. Um, you don't see a lot of these. These are very, very rare. You don't see a lot of bands play these at all. I mean, it doesn't even have a whammy bar. But what's really interesting is if you take a closer look at the pickups, this one here is made out of metal. Whereas usually they're some kind of plastic. So this makes this guitar extremely good for heavy metal music. The strap, this one's a black strap, complete with Wabby Bar. Unbranded. And they call this a heavy road worn because it's been dropped on the road a lot, as you can see. Um, although it's not very heavy. There you go, my guitars. And a little tour of the studio. Oh, I forgot to mention this one. Now this one is just a body, as you can see, signed by Eric Gales. And I keep that there because 
there's a ding in the wall. Good morning world and welcome to another episode of Connor's Corner. I have a few things for you today. The first one is this. See these things? Oranges. If you ate 11,000 of them, you would in fact die. The acid in your stomach, like, you'd die. It'd eat you from the inside out. Yeah. Um, I've just woken up. I'm about to go downstairs. Have a fat breakfast. Like, three poached eggs. Three, not three bits of bacon. More than three bits of bacon. Three poached eggs. Three bits of toast and crazy amounts of bacon. Um, so the first fact is the oranges. Second fact is I'm about to go downstairs and have a massive breakfast. And I have a third fact or like theory which I thought about and I was like, well, it's a bit strange. Um, so a letter came through the door. Well, not a letter, like a leaflet thing for a Cinderella pantomime. And I thought this, right? In Cinderella, she has that glass slipper, doesn't she? And it falls off. So, like, this is this is a quote here. This is another quote. Kind of quote. If the shoe, or if the glass slipper, fits her perfectly, then why does it fall off in the first place? I don't know. I mean, it's a bit of a strange one, really, isn't it? Nearly dropped my phone. That was close. Um, yeah, that's that. If the glass slipper fits perfectly, why does it fall off in the first place? I don't know. Nobody will ever know. Anyway, I'm about to go downstairs, have a massive breakfast. So, I will see you all next time. So, uh, just like to thank uh, all our supporters on YouTube. We are literally getting tens of views per video now. Um, we're really chuffed about that, so we're going to keep going. Uh, this is episode 9. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. You know, uh, we'll keep the, uh, yeah, the, the information coming and hopefully uh, you, know, you'll, you, you can learn something from our journey into uh, almost or possibly quite close or even you know, looking from a distance uh, stardom. See ya. This is the life. Heard it right, fingers on the trigger